let's create sort of a belt piece for our character. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the cowl piece or the collar piece with this belt. And so to start, we're gonna create kind of the basic shell. And to do that, we can simply create polygon primitive and let's just create a simple cylinder. All right, we can use the creation parameters over here in the channel box. Let's take our height down a little bit and I'm just middle mouse dragging it. Kind of get it into position. Let's take our radius down a bit. We can figure out how kind of high we want this. And so right now our height is 0.3. I think, I think I want it to be kind of 0.2 probably is good. Okay, so something like that. Let's take our radius down a little bit more. Again, we want it to be sticking off of the surface a little bit so that we have the room for that sort of cloth inside. Um, although this could be the, the inside of it so we could extrude it out. So we'll go ahead and leave that at uh, 0.5, I think. Okay, so now what we wanna do is get it just to the, again, the basics, right, the shell. And so in this case, we know that we don't need the top or bottom. And so I'm gonna just come in the front view here, drag across the top, actually drag across the whole thing. And then I'm gonna control drag across the middle. And that leaves us with just the top and the bottom selected. Now we can just hit delete and deletes all of that. I also know that I don't want it to actually connect. I want to have a piece in here uh, that we're gonna create in ZBrush. So I want an opening right here. I don't want it to be quite this wide. So what I wanna do is take this center edge here and I'm gonna bevel it. Okay, and then we can change our fraction amount. So I don't know, maybe something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5, maybe something like that. And go ahead and get rid of that. And then I wanted to angle down a bit. So I'm gonna take both of these edges, pull them down. I'm gonna hold down shift and add to the selection, pull those down. Okay, so something like that. And we can also come in here and shape this. So you can see here where it comes straight around. And so, just by rotating that, it's gonna fix a lot of that issue. I'm gonna pull it forward a bit. And let's actually pull it up a bit. So something like that. We could also take the bottom edge. I'll just hold down shift and double click the bottom there. And I'm just gonna scale it out in this direction. So something along those lines. Okay, so there are several ways we could do this. We could extrude the wood part out and then duplicate our faces or we can simply hit Control D to duplicate this at this point. And now you can see in our outliner, we have two of these identical objects. So we'll take this one, hit Control E to extrude, and this time we'll extrude the thickness out. Okay, and I'm gonna put in a, a number just because it's so small. So we wanna go maybe 0.05 or 0 0.04. Turn our divisions down. Okay, so something like that. And then we'll get the in, inner piece that we duplicated. On this one, we wanna do the same thing that we did on the cowl, which is to cut off the outer edges. So I'm just gonna go view selected. Let's get our multi-cut tool. Holding down control, we can quickly add some edges. Now I wanna get rid of those. So I'll delete that. And I do want to actually Add another one right here. There we go. So now again, we want to have that bead that goes all the way around. So we'll add some lines right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add to our selection. Now hit Control E to extrude. And I'm going to bring this the other direction. So minus 0.05. That's going to be too thick. So let's say minus 0.025 your divisions down to one. And then let's do the same thing over here. So I'm just gonna hit G to repeat that. Extrude, minus 0 0.05. Take our divisions down and take this down as well. Let's make this one a little bit thicker and let's add a little bit of an offset, like 0 0.01 maybe. So we get something like that. And that's gonna be the inner part, right? And then we have the outer part already. Let's go ahead and turn off our view selected. 
And again, let's add our support edges so that when we take this into ZBrush and subdivide it, it keeps its shape. Okay, kind of like that. And that gives us a couple of objects there. With that, when we texture it, thinking about this, this is wood and we'll have some you know, carved shapes on it. And this is cloth. It's going to create a nice interplay with different uh, surfaces connected together and just to add a little bit of realism to it. Okay, so once we've got the belt, and again, you, you know, I made this a specific shape. It's bit, kind of a basic belt shape, and we're going to make a buckle in ZBrush. You can make other pieces as well using the same technique if you want to create other pieces on the arm or in different spots. But the next thing I'm going to do is I want to have a big gold medallion kind of right here connecting this wooden piece. I want to see the gold next to the uh, kind of polished wood. I think it'll look cool. And so we're going to create the base for that in the next clip.